Hello, IBW569 brothers and sisters. My name is Jeremy Abrams, your business manager, card number A129528. We have a new IBW569 contract. This is a one year contract with a 5.9% wage increase, which is an additional $265 an hour, bringing journeyman wireman to $47.65 and becomes effective August 31st, and we did not give up our sick time. IBW569 fought for a fair contract and higher wages, and CIR issued their determination. Let's get to their decision. After careful consideration of the evidence submitted, the council rules as follows. The parties are instructed to amend Article 1, Section 1.01 to show the period of an, of an agreement from June 1st, 2020 to May 31st, 2021. Two, the hourly wage for a journeyman wireman will be increased 265 per hour, effective August 31st, 2020. The present wage and fringe benefit differentials for all classifications other than those specifically mentioned in this decision will be maintained in accordance with the present agreement. The hourly wage for CW1s shall be increased $1 per hour, effective August 31st, 2020. The hourly wage for CWs 2, 3, and 4 and CE5s shall be increased $0.30 cents per hour, effective August 31st, 2020. Any portion of the scheduled wage increase may be allocated to the existing fringe benefit funds at the option of the local union membership. In addition to the above wage increases, the employer contribution for CE5s and 6s to the existing pension fund shall be increased $1.40 per hour, effective August 31st, 2020. To summarize the background of this decision, this is the largest single wage increase the local has ever received. Our 2020 Inside Negotiating Committee met over 20 times with our NECA counterparts and prepared arguments and negotiations materials for more than 500 hours. Unfortunately, Nika did not put anything fair worthy of the membership's vote on the table. To that point, the best offer on wages Nika was offering was $3.05 over three years. So just to be clear and break that down, that's a wage increase of a single dollar per year with a nickel on the back end. And Nika expected 569 members to give up their sick time for that. Additionally, Nika was trying to get rid of your tunnel pay, high time, and Nika wanted a new journeyman call by name that would have undercut our book system. Your committee from day one decided that this local wasn't going to buy our own raises and negotiate away members' sick time. Your IBW negotiating committee values every member of the local and fought hard for a fair contract, and we took that fight to CIR in West Virginia this year. CRR, which stands for the Council on Industrial Relations, hears grievances, interprets existing agreements, and arbitrates contract negotiations. So we made our case to CIR for higher wages and a fair contract, and CIR made the final determination. I hope you will join me in thanking the fellow members of our 569 Negotiating Committee for their service. President Joe Heisler, Jose Martinez, David Saunders, Corey Hurley, Joe Page, and William Stedham. Next week, we start our negotiating negotiations for the streetlight contract. And then in January, we jump back into negotiations for another new inside contract. Here's some of the things we're gonna continue to fight for. Higher wages and better benefits, a tool list, penalties for late checks, and a better defined scope of work that protects it for our members as well as our contractors. The committee will reconvene and strategize on new tactics and arguments to get a better contract next year. Many of you have called and posted questions about our new contract, and here are some of the answers. Regarding the allocation of funds between being on the check versus an amount toward health and welfare or the apprenticeship or pension, Unfortunately, due to COVID and the DR time requirements, we are unable to meet and with the mandated time frame, 
unable to have an allocation. Therefore, the entire 265 will go on the check. On a positive note, it's only a one-year agreement, so membership will have another chance next year to allocate it wherever membership would like to allocate it. Some of you are asking if the wage increase is retroactive. Per CIR's decision, the wage increase is effective August 31st, 2020. Also in the past, when the contract has expired in May, DR doesn't update until August, so we have historically scheduled the first increase for the new contracts to coincide with the DIR determination update in August. Some members have asked about sick days. While we were successful in preserving and protecting our sick days for our members, Nick had wanted us to waive those, um, which is afforded to us by two different laws, one state and one city of San Diego. There's only a caveat in the CBA if it is bargained away. Otherwise, everybody gets the sick time. We heard members loud and clear, sick days are important to us, and we did not negotiate them away, especially during a pandemic. Our admin staff is working hard on updating the new contract right now, and it should be on the website by the end of next week. I'll end the video with a call to action and solidarity. We need to be strong and engaged and active in seeking higher wages and a fair contract. As I mentioned earlier, we're starting the streetlight negotiations now and then gearing right back up for the inside agreement. New gear and swag will be available at the hall soon and have a new hashtag IBW569NEEDSANOTHERRAISE. I guess we're going to need bigger shirts and stickers for those. Please stay engaged. Watch your emails and social media for action alerts. And right now, make sure you've registered to vote to help win more work for our members in the upcoming November presidential election. If you have any questions, please give us a call at the hall, 858-569-8900. And please continue to stay safe in solidarity. Jeremy Abrams, IBW 569 Business Manager.